Hi everyone, in today's video, we have here the 3 best smart band that perfectly suits to your budget. Let's see which one is the best for you to buy. Two is from Xiaomi products and the other one is from Huawei. The new Xiaomi Mi Band 7 has a 1.62 inch bigger screen AMOLED full display than the Redmi Smart Band Pro and the Huawei Band 6 and 7 that has only 1.47 inch AMOLED full display. They both have very good brightness screen display that we can see both day and night. Looking for an exciting pictures? This is what we are going to talk about so stay watching again. This is Chris of Naxkill. Before we continue, please like, share and give some love by subscribing to this channel. And don't forget to click the bell to get notifications for new videos. Let's start with Mi Band 7 which I am using for 5 months now. And I did a lot of testing on my everyday use, even in sea salt water. Yes, I already tested it. You can watch the short video that I did and it's still working good. The touch screen is very responsive, just slide from the bottom to the top screen to see its applications that is so easy. But yes, sometimes it is skipping by sliding using your finger, but that is normal. For me, Mi Band 7 is a very good upgrade from the previous Mi Band 6 which is I am still using right now with responsive camera shutter and music control from your iPhone and Android and yes, both are compatible with iOS and Android. From its big display, a great way to check and see the big weather and other applications. And wait, there's more. If you want to buy this now, you can find this in Shopee, Lazada, and Amazon online store under 2,200 Philippine Peso. It's about 40 US dollar. Mi Band 7 has a good Mi Fitness and Zip Life application that's free to download into your smartphones and iPhone. With a lot of watch face designs to choose from and so easy to download and use wherein you can turn on and off all the applications that you wanted to use. Here is a quick preview and settings for the AOD. Just go to the settings and find the display and brightness. Click that one and you can see the always on display. We start with smart, schedule and off. Using the AOD is so nice but again, it will shorten our battery life. Best advice, use the schedule. So that's it for this one. Next, let's go with the Redmi Smart Band Pro that I am using for 9 months now. Yes, and also I did a lot of testing on my everyday use. Even in sea salted water, yes, I already tested it. You can watch that short video that I did together with Mi Band 7 as well. The touch screen is very responsive. Just slide from the bottom to the top screen to see the application is so easy. Easy. But yes, sometimes it is skipping by sliding using your finger, but that is normal. Using this for a long time, all I can say is that Redmi Smart Band Pro is the small version of the new Xiaomi Mi Band 7 Pro. When it comes to applications, look and design. It also have a very responsive camera shutter and music control using your iPhone and Android and yes, it is also compatible both with iOS and Android smartphone. The AMOLED display is so good to click and see the weather and the other applications. And if you want to buy this now, you can find this in Shopee, Lazada, and Amazon online store under 2,500 Philippine Peso. It's about 45 US dollar. Redmi Smart Band Pro also using Mi Fitness app and ZipLife application that is free to download into your smartphone and iPhone. With a lot of watch face designs to choose from and so easy to download and use where you can turn on and off all the applications that you wanted to use it. Redmi Smart Band Pro also have AOD that you can set the time on how long would you like the AOD to use or turn it off. Before we continue, please subscribe to this channel.
We have here the Huawei Band 6 that I am using for almost a year now and similar to the new Huawei Band 7. I did a review comparison with these two. For more details, you can watch the video. Even in sea salted water, yes, I already tested it. You can watch that short video as well together with Mi Band 7 and Redmi Smart Band as well. Huawei Band 6 and 7 have single button on the right side. Compare with Mi Band 7 and Redmi Smart Band Pro has no button on the side. The single button can be used to power on your watch and also be used to go and see all the applications by single click. Touch screen is very responsive which is similar to the two smart band. Just slide from the top to bottom on the screen to see the applications which is so easy. Huawei Band 6 has no AOD but version 7 has AOD always on display that you can choose from. Using Huawei Band 7 AOD is so nice but again it will shorten our battery life. Best advice is use it for 3 hours only but it's up to you. Based on my personal experience, Huawei Band 6 is still one of my favorite smartwatch for its long battery life until now. It also has a very responsive music control now. Yes, Huawei already fixed the issue using iPhone for music control, photo shutter, but not fixed yet. Yes, this watch band is both compatible with iOS and Android smartphone. The AMOLED display is so good to click and see the weather and the other applications. And if you want to buy Huawei Band 6 and 7, you can find this in Shopee, Lazada, and Amazon online store under 2,200 Philippine Peso and it's about 40 US dollar. Huawei Band 6 and 7 using Huawei Health App applications, free to download, just need to install into your smartphones. In the Huawei Health, you can buy more watch face designs that you can download and to choose from. Very easy to use where you can turn on and off all the applications that you wanted to use. Before we continue, please subscribe to this channel. So what do you think with these three smart band guys? Which one is the best for you? In my opinion, all of these are good and with awesome design and look. Good for men and women's in different outfit and it has a lot of different color strap that we can buy online for an affordable price. These are good to buy this holiday for our friends and family with good AMOLED screen display that we can see day and night with long battery life. Let me wear it one by one. I have a 2.5 inch wide wrist. Start with Mi Band 7 with different straps that I bought in online store. With this new size, it looks good to me that I always wear it in my everyday lifestyle going to work and hanging out with friends. This white strap is made of silicone rubber. And with Redmi Smart Band Pro, this one is good not only for men but for girls as well because it is not too big in my wrist. I feel that I have black bracelet. The black strap is made of silicone rubber as well. You know guys, I love this one for having a good UI and big AMOLED display. Huawei Band 6 and 7 is getting better and better. Hope Huawei Band 8 will have a nice upgrade in size and more beautiful watch face designs. That's what I love with Huawei Band having a lot of watch faces variation which are available to buy in Huawei Health App compared with 
Mi Ben and Red Me. Now let's go outside. Wearing these three together and using the walking exercises, let's see how they count. I noticed that in my actual steps while walking and in my every step that I'm counting, it didn't sync with my actual speed how we normally walk. With this three so-called best smartwatch band, the walking steps counting is sometimes skip to two, four, eight, and sometimes no signal. That is normal. I suggest do the walkathon, not just walking, because the watch counting is a bit faster than our normal steps. Here you can see the total steps of each watch band. What do you think, guys? Let me know your opinion. For Mi Band 7, let me know your thoughts. For Redmi Smart Band Pro with Huawei Band 6 and 7, let me know who is the winner for you. Mi Band 7 will be the good upgrade. On this category, on my experience and opinion, I love the AOD always on display. How about you guys? Let me know your side comments. So till my next video guys, thank you for watching and please subscribe to this channel. Peace and God bless everyone.